Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back for some more EVE Online. And in today's video, I want to share with you guys what I have been doing in the last couple of days, basically the last week since uh, the year has started. And that has been, uh, I've been trying to change my routines a little bit to incorporate more industry and more trade in my daily EVE Online experience. The catalyst, of course, as you can imagine, uh, was the video that CCP created for us, where they basically shared some of the highlight, uh, highlight stats uh, from 2019. And uh, it turns out that according to the stats, I had success in industry, mostly because I like, made over a million items, lots of ammo, of course, lots of really small, cheap stuff. But uh, in the top 9%, I was pretty impressed by that. And then like a thousand market transactions, a bit more than 17 or something like that and that felt like mm, that's really not a lot I could do a lot better without necessarily having to uh, completely change my play style or anything like that and so I've been doing a little bit of industry and trying to get daily trading going as well with what I'm producing and this is the result look at my wallet 3.4 uh, billion isk in income in revenue and then the expenses are down to 2.9 uh, billion which includes like 800 million for the Iki Tursa as well so overall yeah I'm isk positive in the last 30 days and I actually think that uh, if we look at trade uh, my my selling of stuff has actually made a big part in that it's still 25% of it on contracts yeah, doing more trips to Jita has allowed me to try and sell more BPC so that probably um, keeps the same percentage but it's actually more ISK that's coming into the wallet and you can see some stuff that I've uh, been selling some modules some ships some drones and then uh, down here the charges well another 70 million at this point that is not that bad for like the five days or so uh, that I've been doing this uh, so far so very positive uh, for me. I'm going to try to keep that up. I would love to have uh, even more impressive stats uh, for the next year, of course. So that's what we're going to start to work on. Uh, now, doing this type of activity, of course, does mean that I need some uh, ships for that. And I have two transport ships that I use. First of all, we've got an Ocator here. Uh, I'll put the fits in the description of the video. But this is really the ship that I use when I'm transporting high value items and really big volume items mostly my PI. It's got 62,500 cubic meters in the fleet hangar that does allow me to get a sizable amount of PI for instance like almost half a billion worth I think and uh, it's tanky enough that I think uh, it'll it'll get through uh, even with that kind of an amount without too much trouble but for my daily activities I would say I use my fast transport ship which is this one here. Uh, quick look at that. Also, uh, the actual fit in the description. But yeah, this is my fast EP, a Wraith uh, that is basically built for fast long time, some passive shield tanking, but it all, uh, only transports like 6,000 cubic meters uh, of cargo. Really, my daily production, you could say, is, is, is much lower than that. Um, and I keep the value very limited there. Maybe 100 million or something like that is, is what I try to limit myself to uh, for this ship. So, um, some specialized ships and some extra ships will be needed you can't just have the ishtar do your exploration and say that uh, okay that's that's all i need or, or just the orca for mining that's going to be really slow for for your trips so um, yeah, a couple of uh, transport ships. Luckily, I've been doing this uh, before on and off, so I have these ships ready. Uh, but uh, yeah, once you get started on industry, uh, it is different. Cargo space is actually very important, uh, a metric that is, is sometimes, I think, underestimated in EVE Online. Now, of course, I'm uh, building all of this stuff in my right to And as you can imagine, getting started, I am mostly focusing on uh, munitions. I have found that these still sell very well and some of the markups are actually crazy. So let's see what I did yesterday. A full batch of missiles. Honestly, by far the uh, most uh, profitable um, uh, item for me at the moment and probably the most uh, popular uh, weapon system in EVE as well with lots of production. So can I even... No, I can't really see uh, the... Um, the numbers at this point so we're just gonna deliver everything 
There you go. And that's going to be my goal. Get those 10 manufacturing jobs running every single day. Make stuff that has uh, a positive yield. Try to sell it at a profit again. And uh, just keep that machine running. Now, I can, of course, switch it up a little bit as well. Um, but uh, then I, I need to decide. I tried some of these uh, charges as well. Um, like antimatter and... What is it actually called here? Is it blaster ammo or... Hmm. What's the category? All right, doesn't really matter. Uh, but these have much, much lower margins. And, and same here with the Minimatar weapons, um, much lower margins than the missiles. So for now, I'm just exploring that, but I've not really found success. Gonna try some modules as well, of course. Some missile launches could be interesting. And then some ships, very bad experience with that so far. Small take one ships. I mean, uh, I tried a Kistrel, and if I'm not mistaken, this looks kind of okay. 260,000 estimated uh, cost in minerals and then 300,000 estimated uh, value here so that looks positive well I went to Jita I had to basically try to sell it close to a loss so uh, these aren't doing too well but my thinking is perhaps the local markets could have better margins for small ships because they're of course pretty bulky transportation uh, is quite a cost so maybe it's better to try and sell those locally uh, but right now also I'll show you guys my market orders what I'm trying to do is to find the rotation uh, for these sales the first four days or three days I'm not exactly sure anymore uh, I kept going back to Jita which allowed me to sell more BBCs as well but it was also pretty clear that I was starting to flood the market because I still have practically everything for sale for my Mjolnir torpedoes for instance yeah, one of actually the best uh, items when it comes to the margin then what else is left in Jita Inferno cruise missiles two batches of those you can see the competition is quite stark it's not that much anymore about a quarter of what i've produced but you can feel that if you if you go every single time to the same market with the same amounts you are going to end up flooding the market competition is going to try to drive you out so you need to switch it up a little bit that is why yesterday i went with amar uh, noticeably inferno uh, torpedoes still not selling there either nova torpedoes not doing too great but quite a bit of the others apparently have already sold um, although some of my items aren't selling just yet so you need to switch it up you need to find the right routine where you can keep producing at a good margin and where you don't flood the market uh, so my next step for this one for today was actually I'm gonna try the local market uh, I'm going to give Jita one more day that's gonna be tomorrow's trip Amar has two more days to try and move some of that product and if it really stays there we're gonna switch to other stuff and so for today that's quite okay what's left in Jita we've got some Inferno cruise missiles that are still left there Mjolnir torpedoes are not that great that's items, yeah, thorium charges, not really able to sell or move those too well, but that's it. Most of the other missiles do seem to be okay. So we were talking Mjolnir torpedoes and Inferno cruise missiles, which I don't want to make, but uh, everything else, Nova heavy missiles, that seems absolutely fine. So let's make a batch of those. Small numbers, we're gonna stay uh, pretty pretty small but steady and then see if we can grow things, find better items and things like that. Input cost estimated 246,000, output cost estimated double the price. And on top of that, sometimes um, we, can, we can try to sell these at an even higher price than the estimated. So this is a very good item. I've apparently been able to move these in Jita, so we're gonna start that job. We definitely want that. Um, so the ones that we didn't want, can I still get back to my market orders here, were the Inferno Cruise Missiles. Let's see if I can... Inferno Cruise, we don't want you. And then Mjolnir Torpedo, we don't want you. But we still have some other missiles that we can do here, for instance. Is that running? Nope. 246, that uh, looks a lot like the previous one. Job cost has changed. All right, I'm apparently talking a little bit too long. Let's try that again. Press start. There we go. Next up, we've got some Nova Cruise missiles. 1.1 million, 1.3 million. It's not a massive margin, not as good as the previous one, but it's definitely pretty good. Mjolnir Cruises have been selling 2 million, 2.5 million. Not bad. Nova Torpedoes, 2.8 million, 3 million. It's a profit, so we'll make those as well. 
Inferno Torpedoes 3.5 to 3.7. That has definitely slowed down. I think it was over 4 million uh, the last time that I made those. Then we've got some small missiles. I make these in batches of 500, 300k to 700,000 disc. More than double the price on the estimated. Uh, that is amazing. And they have apparently been uh, sold as well. Of course, much smaller numbers. We're going to see if maybe at some point we can try to sell a thousand and things like that. But for now, we're keeping it small. 600 to 7k, not that great, but definitely still positive. And this is almost double as well, which puts me at 8. So what else might I want to try for Jita? What I haven't tried is actually some... Um, modules so here for instance we've got rocket launchers or no it's it's uh, what are they actually called uh, cruise missile launchers input 100,000 output 200,000 137 80k probably 60 70 percent markup that's not so bad uh, but will they sell uh, in G in Amar they haven't sold yet so I'm gonna start with 10 gonna start slow just exploring this market but uh, it would be great if those could move 15,000 for one, 46,000, that's worth it. That's in fact, in my opinion, worth like a little bit more. Um, if that's really the markup, then we could try to invest 400,000 disc in minerals and potentially get 1.2 million out of it. Triple the price. We're gonna try that with 25. There's a start. And so this is stuff that I've been doing. There's good items, there's bad items. My experience so far is that missiles have been doing very well. Other charges, not so well, but still doable on some of the more popular charges. And then take one ships, very bad. Super narrow margins and even lower prices in the trade hub so those will probably uh, get tested right here locally which is also what i want to do on this run since as i've said we want to give um the trade hubs a little bit more time for my uh, my trades there to move so we are going to move to the asbel and we're gonna try to sell them locally let's see what kind of uh, prizes we can ask for here Sometimes very big markup because we are away from the trade hubs. Sometimes a little bit of oversupply is enough to really crash the prices. So this is very difficult. I'm not sure if I'll keep that up uh, to like every day uh, for uh, for the local market uh, or every three days. Um, but perhaps a weekly run or something like that could be worth it. So what do we do then? We of course move our items, you can see just one full load of uh, the fast TP, 5000 cubic meters, not that much. And then we're gonna take a look at the local market with these. Nobody is selling them here and around us they're selling 285 is the lowest price. Estimated value 173 though, so for 1.7 million. That's not bad and I'm even going to try to undercut this a little bit. We're gonna put this up for 279 and see if that moves or not. It would be a very big profit on the mineral cost involved. Then here we've got the Mjolnir cruise missiles, estimated value 249 going for two. Uh, 349, that's also pretty damn big. Nothing in this one. So we're gonna try to sell these. Uh, let's maybe be aggressive on this one. 290 seems like a very good deal compared to everything else. It's only 10,000 units, uh, but it's still 50 isk above the estimated uh, price. So that should still be pretty good. Next one, let's see here and here. That's where we sometimes get into trouble, but this is only 76, so we can ignore that. But sometimes people, of course, undercut massively as well, just wanting to get rid of whatever's available. Uh, 224, 133, so that's all actually at a pretty damn big markup. Um, I'm going to try to compete straight with that 224 and uh, see if we can't sell that. Oh, it's in this station as well. The first one where we're now competing with a local for this sale. Um, this one, 57 and yeah, look at that, 48, actually a reasonable amount. Uh, for the ISK here I have to make a choice do I want to try and sell this and I think if I can clear someone out why the hell not so we're actually gonna risk just trying to sell this at 48 rounds not as good as the projected margin but if it moves of course it's an extra sale um, and I think it's still positive this is worth 14.3 quantity to price 5000 is that's not really reasonable what do I do in this case? Well, I am going to try to see. It gives me an 18 right off the bat. So let's just give that a try as well. 
uh, seems reasonable so we'll just try 1490 you can see people selling for just below that price so i'm gonna put it on the price 14.90 press sell after that we get these to go in station someone is selling them for 10 but out of station 896 with half a million units and this is going for 1050 on average so here we are undercut and local demand is obviously very low so i've got no choice if i want to move this product i either move it somewhere else or i try to undercut him um do i want to go well maybe i'll go aggressive enough that he might buy it up 889 that's the choice then we've got these 370 again 325 but then everything else <laughs> 700 disc that's uh that's a crazy markup here i am going to try 399 if i can sell them for that i am super happy 4 million and you could see i think it was like 2 point something million uh, invested for a batch of these so that was very reasonable 294 one it's a lot of them though uh eight jumps out so that's the question with the local markets is someone going to go a jumps out to get them a little bit cheaper or will they be willing to sell them uh, to buy them right here in local let's say for 299 and hope that they move quickly enough that is of course the real question and the test for this batch of sales potential sales 301 330 and then 250 here again look at the my station 499 that's not bad maybe what we can also try is to not undercut that much for this one let's do 499.98 uh, uh, just a point one this time see how fast the reaction is and see if it does end up moving or not there's lots of strategies to do lots of potential uh, ways to go about your sales and here I think I tried a little bit of everything so I feel pretty good when it comes to this test for the local market so now here you can also see my sales 155 million trying to sell we're starting small as I've said but um, I'm gonna try to do this every single day and see what the results are and then my buy orders at 228 those are still confessor heretic scimitar if I could grab them at this price I still think it could happen these would be amazing investments for later down the line but uh, yeah uh, the point that I, I quite often make actually is that um, for newer players that want to get into industry ammo is definitely worth it and for me these last couple of days have just confirmed that very relatively easy sales i would say i'm moving the products decently well but also massive markups because there just is that constant demand for this stuff now on my trips back something that uh, that i definitely want to do as well is then stay um current with the minerals so on this one let's see if there's anyone that's selling stuff locally like tritanium is quite often my bottleneck selling for seven is though a lot more expensive than in Cheetah. I'm very surprised by that. Pirate is going for 554. Uh, I think that's reasonable compared to Jita. What else do we have here? Stuff like Mega Site 426. That's no, that's also higher than Jita price. I think we're just below 400 there. Zydrine 534, definitely a bit of a markup as well. 1430, uh, that is pretty cheap. Bars are coming in at 590 that's in line with Jita. so all of that happens as well uh right now i think here maybe grabbing some of this pyrite could be okay let's see if i can transport like a million units it only cost me 5.5 million but it's definitely going to help me uh, to keep the furnaces up and running so i put that back uh, in the transport ship got a little bit of extra well i'll pick it up on my next trip here so you can imagine that i'm doing the exact same thing uh, if i had done all my jumps to amar or to cheetah and then of course we go back to the manufacturing right through uh, where we park the minerals see that as an investment but you just saw on some of these job jobs you can get double the value uh, out of out of running these industry jobs and i definitely think that that is um, is worth it so let's end the video at this point i'll uh, park it in here 
and that is the cycle now uh, that I'm going to try to incorporate in my daily EVE Online uh, adventures uh, and then all of this of course will then be funded if I find more time to play EVE Online at this point I'll just get into my Ishtar do a bit of exploration just yesterday I got 50 million in drops great that's going to uh, pay for some fuel pay for some extra minerals you can see now that I've, I've, I've build up a decent amount of minerals i'm ready to keep this up and running and uh, then you know in the stations around here mostly in npc stations i have other bpcs that i can then bring here to give it a try see if uh, there's a good margin see if i can sell enough goods of them and uh, as a result i'm i'm very happy with the result at this point i'm definitely more engaged in the game and i love the fact that my income is now above my expenses in the first couple of months of the new wallet that was not the case uh, i feel pretty good about the fact that here in the last 30 days now there's like a 550 million increase of my wallet despite the fact that i also invested in fuels and bought that expensive Icky Tursa with the fit. So it's going great. I'm going to try to keep this up as well as I can. And of course, I'll try to keep you guys up to date as well. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you all next time.